The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up guys? Clickwood here back with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, I mentioned this earlier in my video that I put out earlier today. I wanted to do something fun with the out of position players. So what I did was actually talk to Goan Volt, who is a graphic designer who makes custom Madden Ultimate Team cards. He does a really great job. I'm going to leave a link to his channel and also to his Twitter account in the uh, description below. So make sure you guys go on over there and check that out. Again, go on Volt. Very cool guy. And he definitely helped out with this video by making all of the graphics for it. Except for the one that you currently see on your screen. I, I mean, I, he made the card, but I made the rest of it. Whatever. But the point being here, guys is uh, I do want to give that shout out to him. What we're going to be doing today is talking about the top five out of position players that I want to see here in Madden 17 Ultimate Team. I got some comments from you guys over on Twitter. I have tweeted this out a couple of days back asking you guys just for some suggestions. As far as players that you guys want to see here, um, if you guys are unaware, the Ultimate Freeze, typically every single year, we get some really cool cards where certain players get an out of position card. So what that basically means is, as you guys see on the screen there, the first one that we're going to talk about is LaDainian Tomlinson. Now, that's actually a quarterback version of LaDainian Tomlinson, which is why he's only 80 overall. So the great thing about these out of position cards is that you get to use players in places where they normally wouldn't play. And also you get to take advantage of some of the cool attributes that they might have, uh, things that would make them really, really good at certain things. So I really, really like this uh, promo. I've said it every single year. I personally think that the out of position cards are the most fun cards that we play with throughout the entire season. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. I truly, truly hope that they bring it back. There have been a couple of hints, kind of real loose hints here and there from some guys that it's going to be coming back, but nothing is confirmed at all. But I do want to bring to you guys my guys that I'm looking for and the players that I want to see here as the top five out of position players as we head into the Ultimate Freeze promo. So the first one, like I said, let's talk about this one. It is LaDainian Tomlinson as a quarterback. Now, if you guys don't know, Tomlinson didn't play quarterback, obviously, but he did actually pass quite often, or surprisingly often, I guess I should say, for a running back, and he was quite effective at doing it. Now, he wasn't Phillip Rivers or anything like that, but the fact that he was just so effective out of the backfield, they would pitch the ball to him or hand the ball off to him, and he would run to the outside and then just bomb it down the field to somebody. A lot of times it was Antonio Gates. Sometimes it might have been Vincent Jackson or other guys, but typically the pass got there and it was usually for a touchdown. So it's always fun to use running backs as quarterbacks. We've had this in the past with like Walter Payton. I think there might have been other ones as well, but uh, definitely Walter Payton. Uh, that was my favorite one to use from back in the day. And we might see a Walter Payton quarterback card here at some point. We haven't seen a regular Walter Payton legend, so I'm kind of doubting it. But it's always a possibility. So uh, anyway, though, I do like the Tomlinson. I think this is going to be a fun one if we do end up getting a Tomlinson quarterback card. Next, we have another quarterback card. And this one is one that I think a lot of you guys are looking forward to. And that is Terrell Pryor. Now, Pryor is definitely one of the hottest players in the NFL this year. He's playing on the worst team in the league, so obviously he's kind of standing out from the bunch as actually looking like a legitimate human being on that team or a legitimate NFL football player, but definitely Terrell Pryor as a quarterback would be a really fun card. Now, for you guys who don't know, Terrell Pryor actually used to be a quarterback. He played quarterback in college, and when he came into the NFL, he was originally a quarterback as well. I think he started some games, actually, for the Raiders. So, uh, definitely something that we could see. I think this one is actually fairly likely, because Terrell Pryor is a card that people are really looking forward to. Um, everybody really likes him for the most part. He's six foot five, I think. He's nice and big, and he'll be definitely one of the fastest quarterbacks in the game as well. So, that'll be a lot of fun to use. Should have a decent decent arm on it better than Tomlinson as far as arm but probably not as good as far as actually running the ball I would guess that he's probably going to have like he might be as fast as Tomlinson but he's not going to have like the carrying or the trucking or things like that that would make Tomlinson really really dominant as far as a runner uh, at the quarterback position but Pryor would definitely be a really really fun card to use and I definitely think we should try and consider him for an out of position card 
Next, we have Dontari Poe, which is a fullback. Now, this one we've seen in the past, and this is one of the fun ones that people used. He just looks like a freaking monster in the backfield. He's huge, first of all. Dude's like, I don't know, like six foot seven or something like that, like 300 pounds. Just an absolute tank, and he's really difficult to take down. At least he has been in the past when they've done this card. He had big trucking, a lot of strength, things like that. Now, obviously, I made a video about a week ago where I broke down that I don't think strength is anywhere near as important as we think it might have been previously, but I don't know. We It's hard to really compare that with, like, running the ball, so I'm not going to say that. I do think for offensive line, I'm not really sure that strength matters whatsoever, but for, like, when you're talking about, like, running the ball, it very well could matter, and that's why I think Dontari Poe, along with, like, the just the pure uh, trucking and things like that that he would probably have. This would be a fun card to use on those fourth and goal situations or, you know, any sort of short yardage situation. Next, we have one that I think would probably be my favorite to use. I've said this in the past. I think free safety Calvin Johnson was one of the best cards in the game if not the very best card in the game. And Calvin Johnson is no longer in mutt. Because he retired this past year, we're not likely to get a Calvin Johnson card. EA would not have the rights to use him unless they went out and signed him specifically for Mutt. And I don't think that's going to happen. So my guess is here is that we're going to get some sort of other wide receiver card that plays safety. Now, we've had Julio Jones in the past, and that was a really great card, but I actually think Mike Evans might be better. He's six foot five, he, so he's an absolute monster, just like Calvin Johnson. He'll have great catching. He should actually possibly even have some decent hit power, just because he's so big and strong. So I, I think that this would actually be somewhat close to Calvin Johnson. Maybe not quite as fast, maybe not quite as high of a attributes as far as catching and things like that, but definitely very, very comparable. So I would love to see a free safety Mike Evans. And last but not least, we've had this one in the past, and a lot of people would agree this was one of the best out of position cards. It's a kicker in Domicong Sue. Now, Sue is, <laughs> if you guys don't know, he actually kicked. I, I think the only kick he's ever attempted was an extra point, and that was when the Dolphins kicker got injured in a game, and I think he missed it. Like, I think it was even before they changed the uh, extra point to be longer. So, <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't have the best track record with kicking, but we all know really all that you need is kick power. And in the past, the Indomitian Sioux kicker card, which they've had in the game before, that card had good kick power. And the other thing that it was able to do was unlike any other kicker in the game, it was actually able to make tackles. So you could go down and you could lay the hit stick on a kick returner and force a fumble with Indomitian Sioux. So that was definitely a big advantage for this card and certainly something that I would love to see in Madden 17 Ultimate Team once again this year. So with that said, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I want to hear from you guys. Lift, let me know in the comment section below some other out-of-position players that you would like to see in Mutt this season. The only caveat, guys, is that it has to be a player who has at least taken a snap or maybe even a couple of snaps at the position that we're talking about. So, like... You couldn't take like a uh, a defensive end and put him at quarterback, for example, because we've never seen that happen. Like J.J. Watt's never played quarterback. He has played tight end, however, so we did, could get a J.J. Watt tight end card. They don't have to have started at the position. They just have to have played a snap there. That seems to be the, the rules that EA basically uses for if they put a player at a certain position. Or they, I guess they don't even have to necessarily have played the position. They just have to like, for Tomlinson's case, I don't think he ever actually played quarterback, but he attempted passes. So... You know, you get the idea basically, right guys? So don't give me some crazy player at a position or don't give me a, a legend that never played the position or a guy who we don't have in the game. Let's keep it to guys that are in the game, guys that we know that are going to be in Mutt this year and guys that have played the position that we're going to put them at. So let me know in the comments section below who you'd like to see and why. What, what thing specifically about that player do you like? Like I mentioned before, pretty much all of these players have a reason that I like them at the position. It's not just because it's cool to see them there. They actually have attributes that would make them really fun to use. So again, guys, thanks for all the support. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks again to Go on Volt for the graphics in this video. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you guys will uh, go over there, give him a follow, and subscribe to his YouTube channel as well. Thanks again, guys, and I will talk to you guys again soon.